Hello fellow junk lovers, stuff collectors, and kids at heart. My name's Charlie, and I love stuff. And because I love stuff, I also love shopping. So this is going to be my first episode of what I want to call thrifting for dopamine and nostalgia. Because I love going shopping. I love thrifting and finding used cool things to put throughout my house. I love getting that happy feeling when you find something from your childhood in a store and it just kind of reminds you of happiness and gives you good memories. And I love buying things to add to my collections. So I do thrift for happiness. Let's face it. It's what I do. So I figured with this channel being all about, you know, collecting things and loving stuff, it would make sense to make some videos and just take you along with me as I go thrifting for super cute, super cool items. This large, squishy chick plush was the first thing that caught my eye. It didn't have any brand on it, but I thought it was really cool. Uh, the next thing I notice, I love going through the books and seeing if there's anything I want to add to my collection. Or I also like picking up books from my childhood just to put in my little kids bookshelf that I keep in a room that I call my library. So I had to get that X-Men look and find book. Uh, you can't not get nostalgia from Sesame Street characters, right? So I had to look at this guy. He was from 1996. Super cute. I thought about getting him, but I did later realize that he was battery operated. And I don't like getting used battery operated plush sometimes because I don't have a chance to test them. Uh, you really should bring like a tiny screwdriver and batteries with you if you can in your pocket or in your purse so that while you're shopping you can test battery operated things. I was tempted to get this Hello Kitty. She was super cute, but I didn't know exactly where I'd put her. And I tried to tell myself not to buy everything that I find. I definitely thought the old metal cake pan gave me some nostalgia. I think just about everybody has had a birthday at some point in their lives where someone made them a cake in one of those shaped tin pans back in the 90s. Uh, I did pick up these Christmas bears. I thought they were super cute. They still had their tags on them. It was a matching set. My husband does collect Christmas bears. I mean, I guess I should say both of us, but he's just become really obsessed with them. So now I pick up a lot of them. I did get this Iron Man Build-A-Bear. I actually already have this one, but I don't have the outfit that goes with him. So for $3, I was like, well, why not get a second bear that also has the outfit? And then I can't resist Disney items. This Minnie Mouse was vintage. She didn't work. And she's one of those that you can only check her batteries if you pull out. You'd have to actually cut a seam and pull out the thing to test her batteries. But she was so cute. I was like, it's okay if she doesn't work. I still think it'll look good with all of my Disney items. Especially at Christmas. I do a Disney Christmas tree. So she'll look good sitting next to that stuff. I did find me a Spider-Man Beanie Baby. I don't own this one yet, so I was excited to find that. Always looking for Beanie Babies at the thrift store. Always looking for cool stuff. Uh, as you see, I did find another Aaron Buddy, but of course I already have multiples of that. But it was funny seeing him and figured I'd put him in the video because I know a lot of people like watching the Beanie Baby videos. I almost got this guy. I thought he was super cute. He was a Build-A-Bear. He was $3, but I, I couldn't figure out where I would put him. Like, I don't have a spot in my house for just dinosaurs, so I wasn't sure where he would go. So I did tell myself to leave him behind and then just kept looking. I love going through the plush and the toys. It's definitely my favorite section of every single store that I go in. So I love going through the thrift stuff. Uh, this Build-A-Bear, Fluttershy, My Little Pony, was only $2. I did end up putting her back because I just, I have too much stuff. But I thought about getting it. I thought about getting it. And sometimes I put stuff in my cart because I like to look up how much it's worth. And I do consider selling it online. That is how I make a living. I sell toys online because I love working with toys because I love toys. Uh, I did pass up the Green Bay Packers Beanie Baby because... I don't have it, but 
I don't really need a Green Bay Packers Beanie Baby. I have one random football Beanie Baby already just because I found it for cheap. But I don't want to fill up my shelves with things that I don't love just because they're Beanie Babies. So I did leave that behind. I did take a look at the sheep and consider picking it up. We do have a large sheep collection that we put out at Easter. I really like this Minnie Mouse, but she had a lot of stains on her. So even though she was from Disney World, I still didn't really want something with that many stains. I thought these Monster Jam trucks were really cool. They had the Scooby-Doo version and the El Toro Loco, the big plush Monster Jam trucks. I was really excited when I saw this from the back, this giant Beanie Boo. But as you see, someone actually, I guess glued a seashell over her nose and then that tiger was super cute but someone had actually plucked out one of his eyes it's so frustrating when you find super cool stuff that you would like to have but it's damaged so you have to tell yourself not to pick it up i was tempted to get that toad but he had some damage to him and he looked really worn um, I did pick up this Kylo Ren Build-A-Bear. I was excited to get that for my Star Wars collection. He was only $3. That was definitely a great deal. Had to bring him home. I did pick up this bat. I don't have this version of the Halloween Thai Beanie Boo bats. I did hate, though, that they put the price tag over his eyeball. I thought that was kind of annoying. I will have to remove it and get some Gooby Gone to get the sticky stuff off of his face. I did look out and find a Squishmallow that I don't have. Very happy about that. Just a Christmas elf for $3. Definitely a great price. I considered getting this Disney's Mickey Mouse vampire. He was really cool, but he had some damage on him. Uh, I do like looking through the picture frames, and I found this really cool Disney World frame. And I like getting the Disney stuff, even if it has a random year on it. Just because it will look cool in my house. I have Disney stuff everywhere. This one didn't have a price tag on it. So I did leave it behind. But I thought it was pretty cool looking. Definitely get some happiness going through the Disney stuff. This little box was so cute. It's got a classic Winnie the Pooh on it. I opened it up. Literally it had one random spoon inside. I don't know what was supposed to be in that box. But I really thought there would be some treasure. Not just a random spoon. In the last section, I love to look for nostalgia and try to find things to add to my collections is the movies. And they had a lot of VHS tapes and a lot of classic things, which are just fun to look at, in my opinion. Uh, this is my cart full of stuff that I did decide to buy. These are all the new friends I got. Uh, when you watch these videos, you'll understand how my collections get so big. And it's because I go and I find these great deals and I just can't say no because... I love it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I hope you subscribe and come back for more nostalgia and dopamine. And until next time, bye.